the Dusty Futon Podcast is a product of the Dusty Futon LLC and Dusty Futon Productions. Go to DustyFuton.com for more information. Hello! Welcome to the Dusty Futon! I'm Tyler, the host of this episode, and with me, I got... Spicy Kim here. What's up, Kim? How you doing today? Oh, a lot. A lot is... A lot. We're gonna... You know... And this episode is brought to you by Backstage360.com, the musician's media. The Dusty Futon is a musician's podcast bringing you the raw musician and what they bring to the table. Backstage360.com works hard to bring you even more with creative write-ups, professional interviews, and stunning photography. Full disclosure, I do contribute write-ups and reviews and conduct interviews for them occasionally. Backstage360.com also assists with the promotion of events, products, tours, new music, and and they provide an overall insider's peek into the impedimenta of the backstage. Backstage360.com. They truly are the musician's media. Who do we got in the house today, Tyler? Today we got Night Shadow. They crept out of the darkness and brick by brick from the Vakken Outdoor Air, uh, I think, a, what is it? Vakken Open Air Festival yes. contest that they just won. We're going to talk a little bit about that and where it's going to take them next here. And, and what they do morning, noon, and night. And night. Shadow. You even, you even wore the vest for the interview, huh? I, w- I just got it. I want to wear it, dude. All right. <laughs> dude nobody's going to see you. You know that, right? Irrelevant. All right. <laughs> that is true. This is the, the train that is the dusty futon waits for nobody. Yeah. You got, yeah, if you got someone after us, we might as well, uh, we might so as well start So let's get then. started yeah, then, I guess. Everybody. Welcome back to another week of the dusty futon here. Um, is it, did it just get really dark all of a sudden? Or is Night Shadow in the room with us today? <gasps> Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Night Shadow, to the Dusty Futon. Thank you, guys. In post, I'm putting it (laughs) Nice, nice. You should. Nice. Big John's going to be our pratfall sound effects guy. He's our Foley artist, uh, slash engineer, slash thinks he's a drummer. (laughs) (laughs) But speaking of musicians, let's get right into who we have here with us. So on vocals, we've got Brian with us today. Say hello. No, Brian's the one that's late. What? Brian's the one that's late. Where the fuck is Brian? The missing link, man. For some reason, you seem like a vocalist or something. Maybe it was just your confidence. Uh, it is. No. Right? Maybe it was when you said, I don't know how much talking I'm going to be doing. I should have said, that's not the vocalist. <laughs> <laughs> no. True but story. So, Then who do we have here with us today, right in the middle, Death Center? What we got? Chris. Bass. Chris. Chris playing the bass. We got Chris Bader, the master on the bass. The master Bader. Yes. The master, ba- uh, the master baser. Oh, <laughs> man. You, you, were, you were almost original on that one. Almost, right? <laughs> Second time you've heard that one, yeah. I'm sure, yeah. And then we got over here, we got both my favorites, of course, the guitar players, my people. <laughs> we've got... Nick. Nick, mm-hmm. and we've got... Danny. Dan- oh, Danny, Danny, pick up your Danny. microphone. We talked about Danny. this. Danny. You had one job, Danny. <laughs> one job. Check one, two, three. <laughs> pick up the mic, man. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out here to the Futon on such a beautiful San Diego afternoon as today. Ugh. Thanks for having us. No, absolutely. And, you know, welcome out here. Uh, these guys are a heavy metal, power metal band right out of San Diego here. Uh, actually, Santee, more specifically, I should say. Is that right? Or? Oh, I'm in Santee. We're all around. Okay, we're all around. So where's everybody from then? Let's go around the board. I like to, I like to get this going. <laughs> so um, I, I live in La Jolla. Fancy. Yeah. Oh, pinky's up again. <laughs> right, when in doubt, pinky out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh. Uh, and then, where are you from? Santee. Santee. Uh, we already talked about we that We talked about one, that. Right? We go, yeah, we go way back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, where'd you house. come from, Danny? San Diego. <laughs> there we go. Super broad. Very broad. Right, a little Very big. Broad. I don't know. What's, your, what's going on there, Danny? <laughs> he doesn't he's, say much. He's withholding information from us, you know. It's well, gonna, it's gonna be like um, he's kind of like the Silent Bob. We're right at the end. He's gonna come out that, with something extremely profound. I think, I think you might be right. That right. is exactly he, the perfect way to describe it. Yeah. He saves it for the stage. He's our Zen master. He really master. has a lot of presence on the stage, so yeah. he, get, he he has to keep his energy, you know, reserved for those nights. I like that. What? So. <laughs> what the hell? So anyways, uh, you guys are probably sitting here going, Night Shadow, wait a minute, I've heard this name before. I heard this name before. Did I just see them over at Brick by Brick? Yes, you did. I and did. 
Yes. I did too. Kim was, yes, you were there. I was dead there. Center. I was there. We had to settle you down. I know. I they know. almost well, took you out of there. I'm always dead center of VIP bitches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? You almost didn't even get your shirt back. <laughs> I, you know? <laughs> That's a crazy night. But speaking of that night, I, I want, always bring security with me. You know, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, first of all, I want to say congratulations on you guys because I understand the show at the Brick by Brick was part of a, a contest. The Wacken <laughs> Open Air, I had to laugh about that, by the way. I'm, I'm way too immature. But so the Whack and Open Air put on this contest. It's like a battle of the bands, and you guys went and competed <laughs> with all these powerhouse bands, and you came out on top. Right. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah, round of applause. Woo! Let's give it up. Let's give it up. Oh, yeah. It's not an easy feat. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, no, I've got, I've been in some some shows like that before where it, it just wasn't orchestrated right, and it's it's got to be done perfectly. And I actually watched a video of that night, and it looked like a, a fun show. It, it was, was awesome. It, yes. it was a lot of fun. And I saw Kim there, too. They had to blur that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk a little bit about the band. First, let's start about Origins. Where did you guys meet? Okay, so... I've actually been working on this band for quite a while. I started working on original material back in 2012 when I was still in college. And I, w- I went to school up in Pomona at Cal Poly, and I tried to start it up there. You know, I got together with a couple of friends, and we were just kind of jamming out in his garage, but it never really went anywhere. We couldn't were they just not metal enough in Cal Poly? We just, well, we couldn't find a drummer either. I mean, it was like, I got to the point where I got frustrated. I went and bought an electronic drum kit so I could record drums <laughs> and, do, and do demo tracks. And just like, like drummer. Here's what, here's what we sound like. But, and, but, you know, we were all still in school. Our schedules were changing constantly. So it just, it didn't work. It didn't work out. And um, I moved down to San Diego in January of 2014 and after I'd been there a few months, all right, I'm going to try and get this started up again because I'd been working on music the whole time. Okay. So I found this band finding website called Band Mix, and I just put out it. I was just putting out ads for what I was looking for, and um, a drummer messaged me, and of course I'm thinking, a drummer? <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, this one is... just walked in the door. Yeah. Too. <laughs> just solved all my problems. Oh, yeah. hey, yeah. By the way, we got a new member that just joined us here. Introduce yourself. Hand him. Uh, you got a microphone. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. I'm Brian. Brian. Welcome aboard, Brian. We've got Brian, the of, vocalist. He, he accused me of being Brian. I was yeah. almost, almost offended. <laughs> oh, shots fired. I definitely would have been. He goes, no, excuse me. I'm a musician, okay? <laughs> All right? <laughs> More or less. He's a bass player. You know. <laughs> That Chris so guy. I interrupted the story. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we're talking <laughs> about how you guys all got together here. Right, so um, it started w- with me and, the, and this other drummer, and then it was it was actually kind of funny, because Danny had messaged me right around the same time. This was in 20, I think 2015. <laughs> okay. Or, no, it, w- no, it was 2014. Sorry. So you got like a side drummer now? Yeah, so it, so it was me and, and then a drummer, <laughs> and then Danny had m- messaged me, see, but see? we hadn't really gotten started yet. Okay. And the drummer kept kind of putting it off, you know, work and things just kept going wrong. And then he broke his hand and then it was oh. just, it just kept, it was about a year That's until a we finally met in, in, in 2015. And he was talking to this other guitarist, but then that guy was kind of flaky. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to message Danny again. It's been a year, but I'll see if he's still interested. I'll settle for Danny. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so I mess, I messaged him like right away. He wrote back and was like, yeah, I'm still interested. So he, and then he was down at our next rehearsal and has been in the band ever since then. And then we spent the rest of 2015 just trying to get l- line up. You know, we found Chris, I think it was in fall of 2015 around there. And then yeah, summer was more like July, so late summer. Yeah. Or, and then, and then Brian joined us uh, winter of 2015, very end of 2015. And around that point, the original drummer started flaking out. <laughs> so oh, no. it was just like, ah, cannot catch a break here. But we found a new guy who was actually a lot better. And then uh, he joined us February of 2016. And then we played our first show July of 2016. Nice. And, it, and this drummer not with you anymore? Or is this... Yeah, so that drum. So we've gone through three drummers Jeez, so like far. Spinal tap. We're on our. Yeah, we're on our spontaneous <laughs> combustion. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or a bizarre gardening accident. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't dust for vomit. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right now we're on our third drummer, and he just joined us uh, in November of last year. So he's only been with us a couple of months. Right on. Yeah. Well, it didn't sound like it the other night at the brick. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so we're gonna play a song actually right now. Yeah. Uh, Big John, what are we listening to here? 
Shit, I gotta change this program. That's the name of the song. Okay. Shit, I gotta change this program. Now that's fucking hardcore rock. You guys are tech metal, metal, right? Yeah. <laughs> write, write that down, Brian. We might need to use that. Yeah. <laughs> next I think code it could name work. for next song. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Are we going in this order? That's up to you. Okay, all right. Well, why don't we do this? Uh, let's start out with Battle Cry. Will you check my pulse for a second? I think my heart rate might be increased. I might have to go to the hospital right now. This is too intense. Don't you want to just mosh? <laughs> like, if I don't mosh now, I'm going to I have a fucking breakdown or something right now. This is awesome. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm definitely sensing a little uh, neoclassical heavy metal influence here. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Is that coming from you? Uh, both both Danny and I. I mean, I've my mom was always the classical music person, and then my dad was the metal person, so I got both. <laughs> <laughs> you found the medium in between, yeah. somewhere right in there. So, yeah. like, you know, in a room full of metalheads, they're like, no, you're, you're like... 
you're a band geek, but in a band geek, you're like, I don't want to talk to this guy. <laughs> I have to give all of you guys some credit for that song. That was the heaviest shit I've heard in a long time, and it really touches me in a place where like only my creepy uncle could, um, <laughs> because I'm a huge '80s That's thrash a fan. Place. I love right? neoclassical, and it, it was, you know, it was in the pocket, Brian. I'm gonna I'm gonna tickle your sack for a second here. Next. I love <laughs> your vocals. Uh, I love your range. You bring the kind of power yeah. that like Dio had, you yeah. know. And it was this band that you guys have now together is like the band that everybody wished Dio had, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. uh, so I really appreciate that. Um, also coming back over here to that guitar, guitar solo work. that just took us out of the last <laughs> half of the song, by the way. <laughs> Uh, Nick, nicely done. Thank you. Um, are you single? You are. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. Okay. Well, <laughs> where are you going with this? Huh? <laughs> so, who writes? Who writes right. most? Who's the main writer? Or do you guys collaborate um, as a band? Or? A lot of the earlier, like the earlier tracks, were, were things that I had done. But late, with our newer stuff, it's a lot more collaborative. So it's. But everyone, everyone contributes. So it's. Right on. Right, like cool. they show up to practice. Yeah. <laughs> That's Damn. mostly my role. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm here. <laughs> Present. <laughs> right? When I joined, they had five tracks that uh-huh. had no vocals, no lyrics, nothing. And I had to... Work with that. Come, come in with something on my first, re- you know, uh, rehearsal. And Battle Cry was the first one I brought in. And never changed a word of it after they heard it the first time. So the way well, you guys you kind of nailed it right away. Yeah, I mean. exactly. So the way you guys came into this song, where the songs were already built, and then you had to At kind of construct you. your rhythm and your lyrics around right. that. Yep. Yeah, that's that's. I, I've, I've. Hold on, let me start this over. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's that's always one of the hard things I find with trying to come up with the concept of the song is where to start and where to put the lyrics in. Mm-hmm. And when I write things, my stuff always sounds like a limerick. It's like a drinking song you hear in like a pub or something <laughs> somewhere. It's not easy to do. Um, at least I find when you have the music already written and yet that's always where I start for some reason as a guitar player. So that's no easy task. And you did it nicely. I commend thee very much, Brian. Thank you. Yes. Um, it's our live studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Thanks, Mom. Also all right. commending, also commending. Exactly. So after listening to that song, it's no freaking, I mean, wonder to me how you guys won that uh, competition, the whack and metal thing. And now because you guys won, now you guys get to go compete in a, the California Regional Finals. Is that right? Or is right. that the Viper? At the Viper, Viper? Room up in yes. LA, yeah. Woo, Hollywood. <laughs> and if we win the National Final, we go to Europe. Woo. Europe. Yeah, so I mean this whole whack and open the air Europe, thing Europe? is I, I was the Europe, I Europe. took a little <laughs> I took a little look at it online and it basically looks like just this huge open air festival mm-hmm. with like the biggest of the biggest bands that come out there. Uh, some of which are I mean they come from way 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 back in the day. Who did I see on the bill? Oh god. Oh god, this year they've got Judas Priest, they've got Halloween, Ghost, Nightwish, uh, Winter Sun, a bunch of So this of is right ones. up your alley. I mean, oh, yeah. with Halloween, yeah. and I definitely heard a little Judas Priest in there, too. Yeah. Uh, that, there's, if you guys don't make it, seems, I'm going to riot in the streets. It seems like a no-brainer <laughs> based on the bands that are playing and your music and your musicianship. Well, then how about this other one with Power Glove? Are you guys still doing that one in August? We yes. Are. Very much so. Very much so. Awesome. Yeah. Coming back to Brick nice. by Brick in August, so you've got plenty of time to plan ahead to come see these guys there. Um, that's that's assuming, at 7 p.m. That's assuming we're not in Germany. That's Whoa. true. Oh, <laughs> we should be back by then, though. True story. The, the festival's like the first weekend of August. That's when the... But Germany's going to eat you guys. They're going to love you. It's, <laughs> you're going to stay there for a while, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, it's Germany. Germany. Germany would be Wacken. That's what we've been talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You said Europe. But Europe, Germany. They're, they're, they're kind of the same. Not the final they countdown. Oh, oh. Not the final countdown. I'm not confused. <laughs> so then now I just realized something. I've been saying this wrong the whole time. It's not uh, Wacken. I wish it was because it sounds way better that way. It does. Yeah. But but Wacken. Okay, so it's the Wacken open air. Son of a Gunderson, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my God. Oh, so, <laughs> so I want to go back on that song again because I love it so much. I want to talk about it a little bit more. Battle Cry. Uh, what's, the imp- in- what's the inspiration behind this song? Well, I stuck with the original title they gave the song when it had no lyrics. And I was like, I can make that work. It'll be catchy. And 
And there you go. That's so you span. You basically spun gold out of straw. Right. Right. <laughs> Nicely done. I like that. You've got the when Midas touch. <laughs> yeah, I think I do. I think I've, I've come along with uh, some good lyric writing on the uh, ev- these five tracks and more. Everything's been written as far as lyrically. Yeah. Are, so. are there any of these songs that you wrote the lyrics to before the music? Uh, I have a lot of things. I kind of like make little musings, you know, little lines here and there and build them. And then if I see like where it could fit somewhere, I'll use it. Mostly I go by syllable count with the beats is where I get my rhythm for the, for the vocals. Do you use like iambic pentameter? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. It's like a mad scientist, a you know? Yeah. You gotta... <laughs> Very nice. So we should get into another song then here. I'm going to actually let you guys pick the next one. Oh. I was like doing this because we always... Strike them dead. Oh, wait. It's not recorded yet. Oh! Yeah, exactly. We'll just tease that one for the future. So stay tuned for that one in the future. But what do we have here? Big John, give us a list here. You have the list in your hand. <sighs> I'm asking you to do it. These, so we've got okay. So we've got Children of the Night, we've got Anthem, we've got False Truths, and we've got Mistress of the Pit. Ooh, I like the sound of that one. <laughs> You're gonna we always fun. save Mistress of the Pit for last. Then we're gonna okay. save that one for last. How about let's go, Children of the Night? Here we go. I notice you like to play even when you're not even playing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking over here, and Nick, uh, uh, during the solos and stuff, he's he's working his fingers down there like on the invisible fretboard. And I'm not going to lie, I do that too. <laughs> he suffers from serious hypertension. He never, not, he never stops moving. Restless finger syndrome. Everything. Yeah. It's all right. I That'll get you a date. I can't sit still. <laughs> <laughs> Choose to dwell in darkness, you will be set for it. 
Children of the Night by Night Shadow. By the way, on average, how many people... <laughs> on average, how many people are carried out of your shows in body bags? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say what a friggin' monster rhythm section you guys have. Holy You're smokes. You're looking at them. They're all... Re- actually, no. We, we have f- no drummer. Our drummer's not here. Our drummer is at that work. Ah, oh, yeah. that thing. He's adulting. Oi. <sighs> Work. Well, That's Chris, a- oh my yeah, we don't it. make millions yet. He still has to go and work his nine to five. You guys yeah. will only be hundred thousandaires until then, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. That was awesome. This is recorded really well. Where did you guys record this album at? Studio West. Studio West. Where's that? Oh, yeah. um, it's in Park. It's not too far from here. Oh, right on. <laughs> I could walk there. <laughs> <laughs> That was very awesome. So let's talk about that song a little bit. Is there any inspiration to that one? Or do you just like to write the most badass, brutalist stuff ever? That's funny. Actually, that song is like the first piece of original material I ever composed. So you what? wrote the lyrics to I this. did not write the lyrics. Oh. I wrote the music. <laughs> oh. But that's the first that's original the f- music that I, that I did back in 2012. It was very Castlevania, it sounded like. To it's me, kind of you know, funny because I actually. Gender. That's how I yeah. thought of it as well. <laughs> that's how, what you brought to it, too. Mm-hmm. You, you kept that going. You, you guys definitely need to like, sacrifice a goat on stage during that song. Or something, <laughs> just something that involves lots of blood, you know? You can bite a bat's head. I that's had been a, done before, uh, Kim. Well, you can pee on the Alamo. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Peeing? What is this, Gigi Allen? <laughs> <laughs> it's Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick, him. You're sick. I like that. Stick around. <laughs> I put a little bit of double thought process into the lyrics. Like for that one in particular, I kind of went with the whole, uh, you know, talking about Western religion mixed with the vampire thing, kind of very. So there was kind together. of a vampirical theme. Yeah, yeah, theme. very much so. And then I threw a line in there from the Bram Stoker's movie. If you didn't notice, uh, there's a scene where Keanu Reeves is talking to Dracula and you hear wolves howling in the in the distance and Keanu Reeves looks over at uh, Dracula and goes what in the hell was that and he goes those are the children of the night what sweet music they make wow so I threw that into that into the bridge of the song at the very end it fits perfect yeah That's it ties beautiful. right yeah <laughs> and now I gotta ask you guys don't you think that Keanu Reeves really might be a vampire because he hasn't aged a day in like 40 years have you ever seen a picture of him then and now? It's fucking creepy. It is creepy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's, yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Mina, you're so hot. <laughs> <laughs> the bus has got to stay over 55. <laughs> <laughs> the cruise ship has got to stay over 55. Oh, <laughs> That's awesome. So, okay, so this album here, is this self titled Night Shadow, or what's the name of this album? Yeah, it's self-titled. Pretty self-titled. much self-titled. This is the first one? First debut album for you guys? Yeah. Very, very nice. And where can they find this? So we've got it. It's up on pretty much every platform where there's uh, digital music. We've got it on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. Uh, is it on Amazon? Amazon. Yeah. Right on. Very nice. All, all your streaming providers, you can get it. Very nice. And online, uh, you guys have a website? Uh, ReverbNation.com slash Nightshadow, I think it is, something like that. Yes, that's right. right. I think that's what it is, too. And on the other platforms, it looks like we've got Nightshadow619. That's your Facebook slash Twitter slash mm-hmm. Instagram. That's just Twitter. Bumble. Uh, Facebook is... We're <laughs> <laughs> right back to Bumble. <laughs> I know, we should probably really establish some consistency. Yeah. Um, um. Facebook is Nightshadow Metal. Twitter is Nightshadow619. I think Instagram is Nightshadow Official. <laughs> So we just we we pick a unique one for everyone. So it's it's up to you to find us. Fuck you. <laughs> Good luck. The truth comes out. <laughs> Although with any luck, you probably find us at Brick. That's where we play most of the time. Right. So. Yes. Yeah. Right Have on. Oh, I lost it. I lost it. It's gone like a dream. This guy. Like a dream. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, this is what I wanted to ask you guys, because I've tried to start a metal band before in my past, and I will find one of the hardest things to come up with is the name of the band. So where did Night Shadow come from? Who's the brainchild behind Night Shadow? Is that Nick? Everyone's yeah, pointing at me. Nick, <laughs> kind of with guilt. Like it's just, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I came up with the name, and you know, the funny thing is, I don't even know if I've ever explained to these guys where it came from. But well, we found that uh, love novel that was it was that's, on the cover that, of the That's album. a different. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> one of those hard yeah. romance I had, I, had a, I had a friend that found a romance novel, one of those cheesy ones you buy at the at Harlequin, the books in you know? the um, 
in the grocery store. You mean like the chick porn novels? Yeah. Yes. yes. Wow. And the name of the book was Night Shadow. <laughs> and and she so, found it in a used bookstore and she bought it for me. I was like, right. oh, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> we, were, we were either going to go with Throbbing Member or Night Shadow. <laughs> we went with Night Shadow. It sounded a little yeah. more metal, less phallic. <laughs> I do like the uh, the throbbing throbbing shadow. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Eh. <laughs> I want to work on that, but no. Night member. I was. Um... <laughs> it's a title for your next song, man. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Night cock. <laughs> Jesus. As opposed to morning cock. I mean. <laughs> morning wood. There you go. Mor- there you go. Ah. Yeah, morning wood. Night shadow. Boom, boom. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyway, <laughs> yeah. so, 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 how did you come up with the name of the band? Well, uh, that and that was one of the things I was having trouble with. It's like, what am I going to call this? So, in periods of just like walking to class, I'm just trying to think of words that, for first of all, sound cool. For mm-hmm. one thing, it's got to sound good. And but um, no, there is one thing about it is one thing that I really like with music or with anything it is like imagery that it creates. Like I'm, a, I'm a big fan of like shots of nature and space and all those mysterious wonder kind of things. And I kind of wanted a a name that would kind of invoke those kind of feelings. So like when I came up with the name night shadow, the image that came to me is you're looking into like a dark forest at night with the full moon shining through the trees and you don't really know what's there, but it's, it's not necessarily scary or evil. I mean, it can be interpreted that way, but there can also be, you know, mystery wonder, you know, what's there. You don't really know. Like that. I'm picturing like, that scene in the end of Ghost where those black things come out and they're all <laughs> you know those are the night shadows and that truly frightens me yeah but. I didn't picture that at all <laughs> <laughs> well you'll come to find that I was raised by television it was my yeah. third parent and so I make a lot of references to that and, and to movies and such right but. I was raised by a wild pack of aborigines <laughs> true story <laughs> do you speak Aborigine? I do not. Oh, dang it. I was going to ask you to sing their next song in Aborigine. That's so, so wild. <laughs> there goes my whole show. I have to cross this whole section out here. Damn it, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So, coming back to the music now, I feel like we have to get to this Mistress of the Pit. You've teased it so uh, nicely. So worth the wait. <sighs> I've got a little bit of a metal chubby here, and I, I need to... Oh, I vague. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need to relieve it soon, because I'm wearing jeans. It's not comfortable. <laughs> so let's get right into this one, then. We saved the best one for last. This is Mistress of the Night off their self-titled album, pit. from Night Shadow. Yeah, Mistress of the, the pit. pit. Yeah. The mosh pit. This was actually written about Kim in the pit at their <laughs> show, right on the scene.
you for inspiring me to never play the guitar again. <laughs> Those Why vocals even bother at this point? We're friggin' monsters. I can't even believe he can still speak after singing that. I'm wondering how you get through an entire set, for one. It's pretty brutal. Right? Pretty brutal. Yeah, I mean, you sold your soul. Yeah, I'm convinced. The <laughs> devil has the possession of your soul, and he gave you the ability to carry on through an entire it's set. It's been done before, okay? <laughs> <laughs> But holy shit, that was awesome. That was... Uh, yeah. A lot of energy. A lot of power. Sounds really fucking good. I have to collect myself now. It's like I don't even know what the hell happened. <laughs> you took you Tyler out. <laughs> right? It's like, Tyler, show us on the doll where it touched you. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, was this song written about a real person? No, I just... Uh, when I heard the song... What? What? Oh, when what? I heard this song originally, I just got this concept of like seeing... Some nasty succubus metalhead shit going to town in a mosh pit. <laughs> and it kind of just, she kind of grew into our logo. It's, it, it's a perfect, perfect song for it. She sounds like my kind of woman. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, excellent. I love what I heard. I know you guys like what you heard. You guys can check them out. In fact, if you're in the San Diego area looking for a, a good show to go see, frequent brick by brick, chances are... Uh, Night Shadow is going to be there bringing the house down and they got to rebuild it every morning it's really annoying they hate it but they still let them come back for some reason hence the name Brick by Brick (laughs) Ah. (laughs) well thank you guys so much for coming out here and and kicking up the dust on the futon a little bit with us (laughs) thank you absolutely Uh, we'll see you guys in the future Uh, do you guys have uh, a new album perhaps in the works that you're working on Uh, that's part of why we're taking a break until August we are going to be writing it so early 2019 I would bet so be on the lookout early 2019 go check these guys out Reverb Nation you can listen to their tracks there uh, and like I said check them out at Brick by Brick uh, they've got all the tickets available there at ticketfly.com um, you know invite us to Vakken when you guys go to we'd love to we'll go to Germany with you. we're yeah, cool with I will. That. perfect yeah. <laughs> all right. excellent we'll, we'll record a second podcast from Germany yeah. right on there, there you go, go. Right. remotely we'll do a call in I like that we, no we're gonna go they're gonna pay for our flight Oh, oh, perfect. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I thought you were going to pay for ours. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, thank you guys for coming out here and being on the futon with us. Uh, you can get, you can find the Dusty Futon at www.dustyfuton.com or on Facebook, the Dusty Futon, and Twitter. What are you laughing about? We're on dog? Spotify. <laughs> we're on Spotify now too. Yay! 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 We're all rocking the Spotify's. We are Spotificated. <laughs> <laughs> we're so in the. 2018, 2017? What are we? 2018? 2018. <laughs> all right, all right. This is going to be something we've never tried before. Uh, it's a Dusty Futon exclusive. Oop. We're going to put up a, a, one of Night Shadow's songs, yeah, and Nick, yes. the guitar player of Night Shadow, is going to attempt to slide whistle solo oh, geez. over one of his songs. <laughs> and, and the bass. Sliding arpeggios instead of sweeping. I like Which it. One? Anthem? Yeah, what do you feel uh, uh, most, I guess, confident? I got to figure out how this oh, thing God. works first. <laughs> you you well, blow it and you slide it. Well, you Thank you for that right. brilliant insight, Chris. <laughs> Isn't that if, how right, you guys if, like it's it? It's in D sharp. You got that? Okay, good. If you had a girlfriend, you could figure it out. Oh. <laughs> right? Chris oh, wow. is going to accompany on wow. the bass flute. Got a lot of that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh. But a boat. Here we go. It starts, up. it starts out with a solo. Go back, go back. All right, all right, hold on. Yeah, let's let's cue this up tonight. Are right, you ready? Do it, Nick. 
<laughs> I can't even, man. <laughs> how, do you, how do you even when you just can't? I, it's hard to even when you just can't. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, wow. <laughs> Chris crashing it, man. <laughs> is that the bass line that we just didn't hear? It's like buried in the back? Yeah, yeah most of my bass is buried. It's really, it's better that way. Honestly, it really is. <laughs> yeah, well, let's go, go to the, the, the awesome solo right here. That the first the way to the solo. Yeah. Yeah. We toiled the earth in obscurity. There's no one coming up here next? Yeah, okay, all right. Making slide whistles metal since 2018. <laughs> oh my god, thank you guys so much for humoring us with that little pickle. That was fun. That was awesome. I could die a happy man now. <laughs> thank you guys for coming out. Sean, shame on you for not being here. She called out sick, bro. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but anyways, Night Shadow, go check them out. They're out on the scene in San Diego and in West Hollywood coming soon. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you. Thank you for having thank us. You. Big thank you to the guys of Night Shadow for coming down and taking a seat on the futon with us. And a huge thank you to Tyler for hosting this episode. Also special thank you to Spicy Kim of Wicked Tone Entertainment for being the co-host and executive producer of this episode. And make sure you subscribe to us on Spotify, TuneIn, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you can find us. Go check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the Dusty Futon. If you'd like to support the Dusty Futon directly, we'll be offering behind the scenes access and many other features for a small monthly contribution. You can also go to dustyfuton.com where you can hear every episode ever produced of the Dusty Futon. And don't forget to check out Backstage360.com for some incredible information and editorials about bands coming to San Diego and all over the country. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dusty Futon, a Dusty Futon LLC production. And we will see you next episode right here on the Dusty Futon.